Monday the 17th of July. Uh, yes, last night it was absolutely peeing it down with rain and I thought, well it's basically spent, you probably saw in the last video, I spent all weekend getting the combine ready, well not all, most of Sunday getting the combine ready to go and then it peed it down about 7 o'clock yesterday evening and I thought, well that's it, we're not going to go on Monday, but we've actually had a really nice windy, uh, sort of sometimes sunny day, so we're going to give it a go. It is, it is about 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We've just been sorting out problems in the grain store because we had blockages in the grain store so that we just had to sort out so but yeah we need to put some air con on because it's warmer now try and drive without crashing right we'll stick the header on I need to set my camera up somewhere we're on magnet but then there's not many magnet many much metal in here to stick the camera to so put the combine on tick over so yeah this, um, the forecast isn't very good, so and we're not exactly so sure what the moisture's going to be. We're going to put the barley, we're going to cut winter barley, we're going to put it in bins. Someone, oh, Robbie's ringing me. Robbie, you're ringing me. He always rings me when, on the first day of combining him. Last time, a few years ago, I was making a video of the first day of harvest, and Robbie rang me. And I said, oh, it's only Robbie. I'll ring him back in a minute. And then he watched the video and he's like, hey. Right, get the header on. We'll go for it. We're at farm two. Yeah, we're going to cut winter barley. We're not exactly sure what the moisture's going to be. Hopefully it's going to be below 16% because we can put it in the bins. We're going to put it in bins in the grain store and we can blow dry air through it. So we can take out maybe like 2% by blowing dry air through it. So that's the plan. Hopefully, it's going to be below 16%. We we'll put the bin lids up. Hopefully, there's no water in there. Yeah, has been outside. The combine has been outside for the last week. I've attached the header. I've lowered the header down because there was water in it from when I washed it. So we've drained the water out. George is over there. He's on grain cart this summer. Um, yeah, let's start it up and see what happens. Bin lids are up, choppers out of gear. We're going to roll up the straw. Put the header in because I want to do a calibration. Always takes me a minute to remember how to blooming set the thing up. Right, we put speed the drum speed up as fast as it'll go. There we go, 9.50. Well, if I sit you in there, can you see what we're doing? No? I'll sit you up there so you can see what we're doing. Heartbreak. Let's go for it and see what happens. So far, so good. I want to speed up the reel. It'll take a minute for the straw to get to shine up the header. You see that? It's wrapping around the auger. Yeah, it'll take a minute to shine up. We've got barley coming in the tank. Okay. It's it saying it's saying 18.4% moisture on the screen. Uh, it's also saying it's yielding quite well, but we shall see. It's definitely um yeah chewy. We'll get a trailer weighed and then we'll be able to calibrate that. Monitor. We'll get out and have a quick look in the straw, see if we've got any losses. I've got that sort of like halfway around the field, so I was kind of leaving it a little a minute. Um, just to let things clean up and shine up in the combine a little bit. The header's feed in fine now. Turn the separator off. I'll let the desk the dust go and then I'll jump out and have a quick look. It's definitely a bit tough, but then we are close right close to the hedge here, so maybe the I well, was saying that 18.2%, maybe the headland will be a bit wet and the land work hopefully be dry. I don't know, it's still dusty. Let's have a good look. The combine didn't stay shiny for very long. There's a lot of straw, that's for sure. Uh, 
Have a look in here. Oh, I've missed the barley. So nice and itchy. Well, there's one grain there. I am only doing about three and a half K right now though. There's one there as well. So the losses are fine. We're not losing anything. Um, we're snip snipping off the odd head. We're losing a few heads. But that's because, look, it's all dangling right down. The heads are all dangled down where it's brackling over. Grain tank's already full and we're only two thirds of the way around this field. It's not a very big field. Probably about, well, I think it's about seven or eight hectares. So George is now on his way. Here he comes. He's on my 6215R. I've cleaned it all up for him so it's nice and shiny. Clean the cab out. So hopefully he'll keep it that way. Right, we'll try the unloader. We should have probably tried that before we started, shouldn't we? Before we filled up the tank. We're away. There we go, that's the first tank of the season done. Uh, he's going to take that back to the farm now, all the way, which is just literally just right there. And um, he'll do a, um, take that back to the yard. He'll go and, they'll go and do a moisture test on that. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure that one will be high moisture. But second time round should be a lot better. One of the most important jobs is to get the Bluetooth set up to my phone so we can listen to some music. Right, that's on. I've got to connect it to my phone. That's bad. Now we're farming. Combine set up. Well, 99% set up. We can listen to some music. Annoyingly, I've been told I've got to stop because the moisture is too high. Which is really annoying because I've just done, I've just opened up a land as well. So, yeah, it's 17% moisture. So, two wets put in the bin. Even though we've already cut like. Two, we've done like two trailer loads and whatever's in the tank so well that'll be fine in the bottom of the bin but we did have time to weigh a trailer load and there was the, the um, combine thought that there was 13.3 tons in the trailer and when we weighed it there was actually 13.780 so we typed that in 13 all right 13.780 Accept. At least we got the combine calibrated, so let's just have a look. What's it going to say? Average 8.36 tons to the hectare, so we'll take that. And the moisture wouldn't fire off either, was it? 17%. Right, second day of harvest. It's Tuesday. I haven't had to do anything to the combine apart from check the oil levels. Uh, I've adjusted the brakes on that trailer this morning. Tractor's got an ab blue, another ab blue fault. So yeah, we've got a bit of sunshine today in between the clouds, so that's good. So yeah, we're gonna give it a go and hopefully the moisture is better today. Right, so we're cutting. The moisture's okay actually, it's about 16% right now. So hopefully another couple of hours and it'll be down below 15. So I've got Eric with me, look. Eric's in the combine with me. Bruno's in the tractor with George. I mean, you can just about see him right there in the middle in his bed. So oh, Eric's moved over here now. Um, so yeah, all is well. We it's not really that sunny either. So, but I think everyone's going today. Everybody in the area. Uh, this is the field that I lost the drone in. So I am keeping out an eye for the drone, but I'm pretty sure it was probably nearly two months ago now I lost it. So it'll be right down on the ground. I would have thought, and the rain would have got into it anyway. So it's probably knackered, but we're keeping an eye out for it anyway.
We'll have a go on corn cart for a bit. George is in the combine, but um, he can't get to the end of the field. It's, it's, um, he's got barley on the roof. Put that down. Turn the radio off. Or, yeah, we're in the 6150R because the one, uh, 215 has broken down again. What do we want? We don't need four wheel drive, do we? Um, yeah, more ad blue problems. It's just come up with a fault code saying outlet outlet sensor, which is one of the sensors that's on the exhaust pipe, um, is whatever faulty or whatever. Um, so yeah, and then it and then it says and then it shuts you down basically. It puts you into limp mode. Um, go up here. Take a bit off him. <laughs> Where's my radio? It's all right. I can unload in reverse. Yeah, shut it off then. Carry on. I'll, we'll we'll unload going the other way. Yeah, I just wanted to take enough out of this tank so that then he can we can he can turn around and go the other way, and I'll reverse back again. That's if I can remember how to reverse the trailer. I'm being a textbook grain carter, not driving on the straw. Well, apart from on the headland. Maybe we can get some black smoke out of this tractor. We're getting about 15 ton of uh, barley in these trailers, so it'll make this tractor grunt a bit. But this has probably got more power than the 155R, because the 155 that we've got is that blue, and this one hasn't got that blue. There we go. We're back at the yard now, we're going to tip in the reception bit. Oh, there's my tractor in the sick bay. It's Britain's most um, enthusiastic grain store operator. <laughs> right there. Let's see if we can actually reverse up to the pit. There's not much room to reverse, or not, not much room to pull straight. Oh. Oh god, oh, I'm pretty close to the shed in front of that. We'll go a bit more. I don't like this tractor that much, to be honest. I might I just miss the command pro massively. Because as soon as you put your foot on the... Well, with my tractor, you don't need to use the brakes. You take your foot off the accelerator and the tractor stops. But to stop in this tractor, you have to put your foot on the brake it then puts the brakes on the trailer and the whole thing just locks up. Wait. <laughs> Don't be judging. Hey, watch and learn. Watch and learn. A bit far over. Alright, second time lucky. See if we can work out what button does what. Is that open him? Oh, we gotta go up, haven't we? We gotta go up first. <laughs> it's got a valve on it, so you can't open the tailgate until the bed's up a bit. There we go. Hopefully there's room to tip the whole lot in there. 
Is there room? Is it, will it, will it fit? We're done. At least this tractor does kind of redeem itself by, because it's shorter, it turns pretty sharp. It turns tight to the right. It's got a good steering lock on it. Cool. Now we've got to go down a steep bit. I did just mess um, message. I did just radio George and ask if I've got time to make a coffee. So that's what I'm going to do. Quickly put the kettle on. I'm not a very good grain car alert. He stopped waiting for me. We need some more. We need to get this tractor chipped. I reckon. Mm, do a bit more horsepower. We'll go down here. There's a lot of straw. It's yielding really well. It's doing like nine tons per hectare. Can be a lot of bales out here. George has got both the dogs right now. I should go and get one really. I should have gone right round that way really and driven up that rubber straw. And we're back. I'm still on the tractor and trailer. He's stolen my combine now. He's getting pretty full. He's getting to know how far he can push it now. Before it goes on the cab. I don't mind doing a bit of grain cut. <laughs> He's still got both of the dogs. in those raindrops on the window. It's got very grey all of a sudden. It's very, very thick out here. I don't think I've ever cut barley that's yielded that well before. I might look at my forward speed. I'm only doing I know it's the it's got a little bit damp out now because we had a little, little bit of a few spots of rain which has made things a bit tougher but the main reason why I'm having to go so slow is because the crop is so thick. Put me lids down. It's raining. What is the time? I think it's about 10 o'clock. Yeah, three minutes to 10. Um, so yeah, that's annoying. I was hoping to finish that field. It would have only taken the best part of an hour. So yeah, still haven't managed to do a full day's combining. We probably won't do tomorrow either because it's going to take a while to dry out again in the morning. I normally put the combine away in the shed at night, but it's already wet. So let me turn these lights off. It may as well stay outside. They tried. As long as that clutch lines up, lines up. Be able to turn the um, put on the auger to turn the knife a bit. A bit. Oh, that's it. That's it. There, spot on. Might have to adjust that. Oh. on the ball go and see if it goes around. Yep. Yeah, that's working. That'll save a lot of going backwards. It's just where it's um, gone flat a bit, isn't it? Where it's and, it and it's all right. like tied together, yeah. isn't it? So it just... It's not just upright, it's just yeah. into weave. That's going much better now. It was all clogging up on the divider yesterday, and that's why we've put the side knife just on that side so that it so that it just cuts nice and clean. It's just where all the crop is all tangled together. It's all a bit brackled. 
so yeah, we just got this little bit here to finish in this field, and then we've got two more fields to do today, about 25 hectares. So yeah, we'll get that done today, and then tomorrow morning, the plan is to move to farm one, and we're gonna cut some barley there tomorrow. My tractor's fixed, back up and running again after the blue problem. George is on the combine again. Oh, he's going that way. He's going that way. Where's he going? I'm in the way. Um, <laughs> Baylor's out the other side. I don't know where he's going. Yeah, Baylor's out this side. Maybe I'll go and see if I can get a closer look. He's got a 7530 on there now. Right, so we finished the barley at farm two. I almost forgot to um, update you. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna take the header off now, put the combine in the shed, and then in the morning, we're gonna move the combine to farm one. We on? Right, Thursday morning. We're moving the combine to the other farm. So um, if you haven't seen me do this before, we gotta go about six, seven, eight miles. I'm not sure exactly, because we've got to go around the long way. We can't go like down the main roads like we do with the tractors. So it's a bit of a longer route. So we've got to go across a couple of people's farms, stuff like that, so. I'll maybe put a time lapse on. I just said on the radio, there's a, a lion loose in Berlin. So watch out if you're in Berlin. Right, we'll put the time lapse on. <laughs> Right, we just started combining. Uh, it is about midday. We're <laughs> very behind schedule, but we went to start the grain store and the pit was um, full up with water. Not the reception pit, but the down the pit, behind the reception pit sort of thing where the elevator goes. Uh, so there was probably like, I don't know, 2,000 liters of water down there. It seeps in from the groundwater. So we've got a couple of pumps going. Oh, I think that might have been a stick. We've got a couple of pumps going, pumping it out. The moisture is dry, which is good. So that means we can just tip straight in the shed rather than it going through the grain store and then into the shed. Got Bruno in the cab with us today. Eric's with my dad. We got Jeremy on grain cart. As George has gone bailing today. Um, yeah, things are going all right. Now that we've, we've kind of sorted out our problems in the grain store. Laura and Dad are dealing with that right now. We're just tipping this straight in the shed. Or they are. It's an absolute game changer having these 18 ton trailers though, because no matter how full you get the combine tank, you can still fit two full, full combine tanks in the trailer and there's still room. So it's not le it's not pouring over the side of the trailer. You're not, the trailer's not leaving the field with the combine still half full. A bloody good job. All right, good morning. It's that, it's Friday morning. Um, I actually forgot to turn my camera back on yesterday evening and update you on what had happened. I'm um, so we actually we finished the barley, which is good, and the variety of that all that barley was KWS Tardis, and it all yielded really well actually. 
I don't think any of it averaged under eight ton. So that's really good. Um, as you can see, I'm out in the sprayer. Yeah, I think we're going to go in the crop. I'm out in the sprayer this morning. I'm just um, spraying off some of this um, second wheat uh, so that in 10 days' time we can harvest it. As you can see, there's quite a lot of green bits in it. Like out there, well, sort of in between the tram lines, it's, it's drying out or it's much further ahead than the, the stuff in the tram line. So we're just spraying all the green bits so it evens it up. And also when we come to harvest, with the current weather, what we've been having, if it is um, the weather still unsettled, it's more likely to be drier. The moisture is more likely to be lower if we desiccate the crop than if, it, if we don't desiccate it. So I don't know if you can see the nice little flowers planted along the edge of the crop there. That's actually a um, wild bird mix. There's, um, in that one but it's also got some flowers in it as well maybe I mixed up some of the seed um, so yeah that's what I'm doing today just getting some wheat I can't remember this if this is um, X days or Zayat this variety but it looks really good anyway yeah even though we got at a late start yesterday with the combine in Bruno is eating my feet uh, I want to go this way even though we had a late start yesterday with the combine and we still managed to get that 23 hectares done there so that was good it was dark when i finished uh, i got a little video clip i took on my phone actually of what it was like when it got dark like the last tiny the last few runs it just got dark or the last few rows um it got dark and then it was wrapping around the auger in the header so i can show you that seems like they've turned radio one off they've cancelled it <laughs> it's gone um and also my sprayers broke down as well well i'm not sure it's broken down but for some reason we've just lost all pressure I'm going to get out and have a look and see what's going on. Uh, no. Sometimes it's because I've left that switched on. Oh, it doesn't sound like the pump's going. The pump is going. Doesn't sound very good. The radio's back on. They fixed it. Right, we're going again now. We're spraying. Um, so I spoke to the guy on the phone from Bateman and he told me to turn off the uh, prime and purge button uh, well turn off prime and purge and then we, it rebuilt pressure so he recommends that we have a we need a new seal kit for the prime and purge valve it's a mouthful um, so yeah they're going to send one of them out and uh, we're going again so yeah we're going to have a break from combining now uh, because the next thing to cut why are we flashing the next thing to cut will be this wheat, um, but obviously that's not going to be ready for 10 days, so yeah. We have got, um, I'm going to go backwards now. We have got uh, second cut hay that we need to do, but the weather forecast is not looking great next week, so we'll see about that. You never know, we might go mowing. Right, we're still having problems. Um, as soon as I turn the master switch on to spray, we lose all pressure. Bloody thing open. Ow. Right. It's gonna have a bit of pressure on them sometimes. Well suction. It sucks in I think. What I've known it to in the past. I'm slightly worried I'm gonna get covered in chemicals. That'll probably explain our Maybe wash it out properly when we get back to the yard. That'll explain our problem, I think. Um, the filter was, it wasn't blocked, but there was no rubbish in it. That one there, or? I think the seal goes on there. The seal goes on there, I think.
something like that. Right, we'll put it back together. And try again. That was me blaming the sprayer for a fault with the sprayer. And it might just be because the filter was blocked. So when I went to edit this video at the weekend, I suddenly realised that there's nothing, there's no other video clips after what you've just seen. I, I think I did video saying that the sprayer was all up and running. It was just that block filter that was causing all the trouble. Um, but yeah, and that was it. It's actually, I think it's the 8th of August right now. Weather is still absolutely shocking. We were hoping that this week, you know, summer was going to turn up and things, you know, we were actually going to have two or three weeks of nice weather, get the harvest done, but we, they've got um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday looks alright, but then st then unsettled again at the weekend, low pressure next week, so not great, but um, yeah, anyway, that's the end of this video, when we get combine in again, I'll make another one, do some more video, we just do, we've just been doing some tree work, it's absolutely peeing it down with rain, odd jobs really. Yeah, nothing very exciting to report as of right now.